He played in the CONCACAF Champions League final at just 16 years old. And at the time he made his MLS debut, he was just the third youngest player in MLS history behind Alfonso Davies and, of course, Freddie Adu. And he's from Anchorage, Alaska. I have been to Alaska. It is hard to describe just how far away from everything it is. The frozen wasteland, the foreign world of deep dark forests, megalithic beasts, and outsiders. From the east coast of the United States, it takes over five hours to fly to Seattle, the top left corner of the United States. From Seattle, it takes another four hours to fly to Anchorage. Alaska is, in spite of its incredible size, only the 48th most populated state in the country. It is also now home to arguably the best American footballing prospect from any state of any size. Obed Vargas, the youngest member of the United States U-20 World Cup participating team, is that player. Now, if you watch my streams on Twitch, link in the description, you would have already heard that name. This guy's been on our radar, at least, for a little while. An unpressable ball of composure planted in front of the back line. He's a 16-year-old whose age defies his true understanding of the game. Maybe it was all that practice dodging grizzly bears on the way to school or something. Or maybe it was his parents, Obed Sr. and Marisol, who moved from Mexico to Anchorage, Alaska to start their life and had five kids there. Obed Sr. was Obed Jr.'s first coach, and he had something to fall back on. He was an accomplished youth player for Monarchus Moralia, which is weirdly the same club that Raul Rui Diaz, the Seattle star, played on before he went to Seattle. Now Obed Jr plays with him. I'm ahead of myself. As for Obed Jr., he has a strangely familiar take on his dad's career. He said he was a really good player. He talks very highly of himself. He said he was a very fast striker but lacked some technical skills, and that's what did him in. If he would have kept going, he would have made it, but that's what they all say. That one, very hard on your own dad there. Now, if I hadn't taken an arrow to the knee, I would be in the national team. But despite his familiar immigrant roots, let me be very clear, Obed Vargas is a native Alaskan. He was born in Anchorage and started up at Rush Soccer Club, but then he transitioned to the Cook Inlet Soccer Club, which I remind you is there. Calling it a footballing backwater would be the understatement of the century. I mean, no matter where his dad played, the average temperature in January is not only negative Celsius, it's negative Fahrenheit. It's freaking cold all the time. But as luck would have it, club competition allowed him to travel to Southern California, if nothing else, for the sun, but also very much for the exposure. While just 13, Obed Vargas was already playing with the 15-year-olds at the Cook Inlet Soccer Program, and they took part in the Region 4 Olympic Development Program tournament in Southern California. Do you get all that? He's younger, he's playing with the older kids, he goes to the Olympic Development Program, and you know how this story goes. The Seattle Sounders Director of Player Development, Henry Browner, was there and happened to catch a game for the Cook Inlet Soccer Club. Now, obviously, Obed Vargas and his teammates were outclassed in one of the premier tournaments on the west coast of the U.S., but Vargas held his own. He had some special qualities, said Browner. There's a determination there. He has those early indicators of success. Whatever the level is, he seems to adapt to it quickly. Not just survive, but be impactful. And that adaptability would be put to the test immediately. He was invited to trial with the Seattle Sounders, one of the most historic and successful clubs in MLS. You might know them from this fantastic chant. Fight and win! 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 But in all seriousness, Seattle does have a huge winning history, a ton of support, and a lot of pressure compared to most MLS clubs. But he adapted quickly again, the trial was successful, and he signed to the Youth Academy at just 14 years old, where he was living 1,500 miles away from his family. Just for perspective, for those people that are spoiled in most parts of the world where there's like a footballing academy every five feet, I'm looking at you, England. This is the closest MLS academy to Obed Vargas and where he grew up, and it's 1,500 miles away. And this all happened, of course, right before the COVID-19 pandemic. 14-year-old Obed Vargas was now stranded in a city as far from home as London is from Istanbul. But once again, he adapted and he overcame. He shacked up with the family of a fellow prospect, Cody Baker, who is pretty highly touted in his own right. And a year later, he signed a professional contract with the Tacoma Defiance in May of 2021, the reserve team for Seattle. But if you thought he'd been matching the level that he was competing against quickly before, 
you're in for a surprise. Less than two months after signing his first professional contract to play for the reserve team, he had called up to the bench for the actual MLS squad. Just a few days later, he was having a conversation he couldn't believe was happening so soon. He was eating lunch in the cafeteria the Wednesday after a tough loss against Minnesota 1-0, when coach Brian Schmetzer walked in. He said, I'm going to give young guys an opportunity. And he looked Obed Vargas in the eyes and said, I'm looking at a kid who's not even 16 and he's gonna start tomorrow. Vargas reaction to all this? I was in shock and I thought I have to show him why I'm here. After that, I kind of relaxed, set my mind, and did some meditation with one of our coaches. He's 15! He's meditating at 15! Is that what professional athletes do? Is that what I was missing? That and any athleticism. Now, if you were thinking he found out on Wednesday and then had all the time up to the weekend to get ready, no, it was a midweek match. He got 24 hours notice, kickoff on Thursday. It was such short notice, his family couldn't get down to watch the debut. They had to watch it on TV in Alaska. Obed Sr. said it was madness at our house. Tears of joy watching our son play in the MLS. It happened so fast that his sister thought it was a joke when he called to tell her what was happening. When the whistle blew to start the match, he became the third youngest player in MLS history at just 15 years 351 days behind Alfonso Davies and Freddie Adu. But you already knew that. You look at you, you're so smart. It all happened on such short notice that Obed actually had to cancel his trip home to Alaska for his 16th birthday, which in the United States actually has multiple consequences. It meant he wasn't able to get his driver's license immediately either. He had to delay that because he had been called up to the senior team of the Seattle Sounders. He spent the rest of the year in and out of the reserves, but by the start of the 2022 season, Five years away from legal drinking age, Obed Vargas was very much in the Seattle first team squad. And it was right at the start of the season that he captured the imagination in something called the CONCACAF Champions League. Now this is a peculiar tournament that unlike its European counterpart, happens at the beginning of the season. No group stage, just knockouts. Seattle was obviously involved, and so was Obed, immediately starting both games in the first knockout round against Honduran Giants Motagua, and then playing in both matches in the quarterfinal against Mexican side Lyon. He then, of course, played in both semi-final legs against NYCFC. Seattle powered its way to the final, and that is where I first heard about Obed Vargas. Because this final was a sticking point for the MLS. Every year, MLS sides had found new and creative ways to bottle the CONCACAF Champions League, which no American club had ever won in its modern iteration. This despite huge progress made by MLS in general. The opponent was Mexican side Pumas. In the 29th minute, designated player Brazilian João Paulo tore his ACL. And who would enter the fray but 16-year-old Obed Vargas in a Continental Cup final with the score tied 0-0. Seattle would go on to win 3-0 with two goals from Raul Rui Diaz, who Obed Vargas grew up watching on his dad's former club. It was the first CONCACAF Champions League, not just for Seattle, but for all of the United States. The United States of America, yeah! And of course, Alaska. Obed Vargas started the season on a tear. He made 13 league appearances, which at just 16 years old, set the record for most MLS appearances by someone from Alaska. But all this record-breaking momentum came to a screeching halt in June when he was diagnosed with a stress fracture in his back. The injury was severe. It required months to make sure everything was okay, and he missed the rest of the season. And then trying to return at the beginning of the following year, he was suffering from a quad injury and had to come off the bench in the early part of the season. But according to Sounder at the Heart, by mid-March, he was very much like his old self. Remember, MLS is a summer league, so it starts in, in February. This is still early in the season. Now, right after his return and right after this article was written, Obed Vargas was included in the preliminary squad for the US U-20 World Cup team. Now, Coach Mikey Veras said at the time this was more sending a message of support to a player they believed had a bright future, not necessarily believing he'd be able to contribute immediately. After all, we're dealing with a 17-year-old who just came back from a back injury. But those worries about him suffering a serious injury early in his career were unfounded. In May, it was announced he made the team, the youngest player to make the team. After all, he will be eligible for the 2025 Under-20 World Cup. And so naturally, he appeared in all five matches at the tournament, starting three of them while the United States made it all the way to the quarterfinals. Now, before the U-20 World Cup, Obed Vargas had only started three Seattle matches, working his way back to fitness. After the World Cup, 
he has played at least 83 minutes in every single MLS match Seattle has played. All of that while still being 17 years old. Now, how on earth is someone who's 17 years old able to play this many matches and contribute this effectively? Well, his coach has the answer. He stays calm. Lots of kids are talented, but they go up, down, up, down, he stays steady. And what do you want from your number six more than a steady hand? On August 5th, Obed Vargas turned the grizzled old age of 18, with already 38 senior appearances for Seattle under his belt and nine appearances for the United States under 20 team. Now, as you may have noticed earlier, he has Mexican heritage, and that of course has kicked off a familiar discourse about what senior national team he will eventually play for, but that is a decision that is further down the road. But the consistency with which Obed Vargas is turning out and turning out well for one of the best teams in MLS means that decision might not be as far down the road as he or anybody else may think. Headlines like this are already making the rounds and he turned 18 a few days ago. Big teams far away are taking notice of his surprising talent, but that's not the first time that Obed Vargas has dealt with that. After all, he is the footballing hope from the Great White North. If you want to keep reading about Obed Vargas, everything we used in the research of this video is linked down in the description. And if you want to keep watching about Wonder Kids, here's a video about a Wonder Kid who disappeared completely. Yeah, like we actually don't know where he is right now. We tried. We can't find him.